Jeff Bezos says that online shopping will save the planet, that the process consistently generates less carbon than driving to a store. Shopping will save the planet. Amazon engaged the Oliver Wyman research firm to prove that. Analyzing the environmental impact of e-commerce versus physical retail in eight European countries, Oliver Wyman found that offline shopping resulted in close to three times more greenhouse gas emissions than online shopping did. The huge fleets of delivery vans reduce car traffic by between four and nine times the amount that they generate. Now, the frailty of the study is that they looked only at three product types, fashion, books, and consumer electronics. While they didn't look at grocery deliveries, Ocado has been telling its retailers that shopping with us is now greener than walking to your local supermarket. A decade ago, in the Oliver Wyman study, Offline shopping for those three categories was found to generate more carbon emissions due to two crucial factors. These were the energy consumption of the building itself and the consumer's travel to the store. One key difference in food is the need to keep things temperature controlled. Ocado CEO Tim Steiner said that transitioning the company's delivery fleet to electric vehicles was more challenging for grocery than for parcels because of the need to chill products. The limitations of how much energy you can store in a battery means Ocado's use of electric vehicles is so far limited to urban locations. However, when they looked and compared to the environmental impact of keeping physical supermarkets cool, supermarkets account for 31% of energy use in the UK retail, a 2019 study found, much of which is spent regulating store temperature. Refrigeration alone accounts for close to half the UK's national electricity usage of supermarkets and represents approximately 1.5% of the UK's total electric energy demand. Let's get back to the U.S. and Bezos. He says that a single delivery van trip can take approximately 100 round-trip car journeys off the road on average. Last year, Bezos revealed that Amazon scientists had developed a model to compare the carbon intensity of U.S. customers ordering whole food market groceries online, which don't arrive in a chilled van, by the way, versus those that are driving to their nearest whole food store. The study found that average actions across all basket sizes, online grocery deliveries generate 43% lower carbon emissions per item compared to shopping in stores. But not everyone agrees. Amazon's key competitor, Walmart, issued a study that found bricks and mortar purchases had a smaller carbon footprint than delivered ones. But hey, that was in 2017, almost five years ago, and a lot has changed since then. The Walmart report found that the online channel, on average, produced more emissions per item for three main reasons. Additional packaging, customers purchasing fewer items per online transaction, and multi-item orders often resulting in multiple deliveries. Yet another reason to argue for click and collect, being the best alternative for the shopper, for the store, and for the environment.